What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Tyler, and this Big West men's basketball video brought to you by Naples Rib Company. That's right. First game of 2012, roll the Big West carpet out. Conference schedule starting for Long Beach State men's basketball, and they begin on the road at UC Irvine. And the 49ers led by the Four Horsemen. They've been through this before. This is their last go at it to get through the Big West play. No matter what you've accomplished before, you got to handle business and conference. And UCI are ready for a throw down, led by Long Beach's own Mike Wilder. They do love Mikey Wilder out there, putting the froze on, ready for this one. And it's part of the Black and Blue Rivalry Series, which has been, well, one-sided this year. Sorry about it. However, in this game, it was UCI who jumped out on top. A hot start, led by Chris McNeely. They went up six early as McNeely with the kiss off the glass right there. Looked like UCI was game. However, we go hip in Long Beach. Doing it down low, getting it done in the paint. Outscoring the Ant Eaters 46 to 20. Look at TJ Robinson grabbing his 1,000th rebound of his career. Incredible. And then Mean Gene, when you're getting this done in the paint, you know it's your night. Little boy, get off me, child's play. Woo! Give me all of them. So you got to stem the tide inside. Who do you go to? Will Davis. Will Davis the second, and this is the second Will Davis the second bucket, as he does work with the and one right there, trying to compete in the paint, but that was where the Niners did work, and Caffey doing work. Yeah, coming off the bench, Mike Caffey, what can you say about this freshman? He's been incredible. Look at him with the stop, pop, drop, and then, oh yeah, I'm going to hit it on the outside, so then when you come out and get me, uh-uh, teardrop. Ten first half points leading Long Beach is the freshman fiver, but it's a black and blue rivalry. Uh, yeah, the coach is going to be black and blue in the forehead, hitting themselves with all these sloppy turnovers. And the UCI starting the run, I think Caffey thought Wilder was still playing for a Long Beach team. Kind of went right to him. He's going to take it the distance and the Anteaters at home with a one-point lead at intermission. You could kind of feel the momentum going the Anteaters' way. How do you stem that tide? How about just playing hard? And TJ Robinson is the epitome of that. Two of his 14 and 13 rebounds. Another double-double for Mr. Double-Double. And then Ennis. Oh, James Ennis dunks hard. The steal and the dunk. It's Ennis the menace doing what he does best after the Skittles. But timely threes keep UCI close. They shot 42%. You see Derek Flowers blossoming here. He had a team high 16 with four from behind the arc. But Long Beach just wanted it more in the second half as you see Ennis with the save right there leading to this Casper jumper. Usually it's where starting the spark and getting this team going. It was the other way around because here we go. Casper only four points in the first half, but a uh, Bayou and then a three, and then you want to come out and guard that three? Okay, we'll buy you again. I guess we know where Caffey learned it. 19 points for Casper Ware. It was a sneaky 19 points, to be honest with you. And then getting the steal out in transition, throwing it down over the afro. One of uh, Casper's four steals right there. He can get up. And then this is the beginning of the dunk show. LAX with the steal and the hardcore mash. It's, uh, it's going to be fun, this next couple clips, JJ. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Clear, nice the, alley clear the flight path. Love it. They might get their undergrad at Long Beach State, but they get their master's degree at UC Irvine. And when your fans take over, it's a pretty good night. Long Beach puts up 43 points in the second half and cruises to a 74-60 win. Anderson becoming only the third 49er in history to have 1,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 300 assists in his career. Banner night for the Niners. Indeed it was. They'll try to carry this momentum over as they head back home Thursday night against Cal Poly. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you in the mid. And if not, you better get back to GazetteSports.com because we are Long Beach Sports.